Hey folks, good morning. <clears throat> good to see you this morning. Uh, Thursday, October the 20th. You know it's October the 20th, Lily? No, it is. We're, uh, we're moving right through. Hi, Judy. Hey, so, Booker family. <laughs> Booker family. Uh, can't you leave just one day early? <laughs> Don't do it. Just... Just one day, right? Let no. Make you feel guilty. I'm not making you feel guilty. I'm just asking. Whatever. If you don't ask, you won't find out, right? No. I'm teasing. It is a lovely, brisk 50 degrees. It this is. Morning. It's a beautiful Florida. It's cold. What? What did I do? It's like half a cup. Do you know how often you leave? No, 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 no. I'm a. Okay, mm. I, you drink that whole thing. And <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, it smells good. It does smell good. Not bad. We uh, we were out of coffee, so I had to make a run last night on the way home from church via Aiden's <laughs> baseball practice. Then home, we ran into ran into Publix and got some uh, pumpkin blend coffee because it's that time of the year, right? So, it smells good. Do you like it, Gav? I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin, Gavin made himself a cup this morning and has it. Hush! What is wrong with it? Anybody want a free dog? Me. Don't give my dog away. Don't let you live with us. He's kind he's of He's cute and smuggly. He's kind of bad. He's annoying and bad. Oh. He is kind of bad. So, all right. <clears throat> well, let's jump in this morning and uh, and we'll get started. Got a couple of jokes. You ready? Lily, what is red and bad for your teeth? Toothless. Jello. A brick. <laughs> <laughs> a brick. That's a good one, isn't that funny? Yeah. Lily, how, how, would that be bad for your teeth? Yeah. Are you missing a few? Yeah. 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 <laughs> what do you call a bear without ears? Mm. B. <laughs> B. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's this one's kind of well. Yeah, I won't do that one. <laughs> I'm oh, not no. gonna do that one. I think I've told this one before. But what if life gives you melons? Mm. You make melonade. You're probably dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. And this one is courtesy of Miss Diana. You ready? Here's, mm -hmm. here's one from Diana. I have an uncle that's a bus driver that circles the Big Ben in London. Mm -hmm. He works around the clock. <laughs> 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 all right. Enough jokes. Oh, all right. Enough jokes. Um, let's jump in and do our devotional this morning. Um, we're going to uh, kind of move a little bit, and, and we're still talking about maybe developing some, uh, some deeper spiritual roots and things like that, but we're going we're gonna to transition into more some, uh, some more practice, I guess. Um, but we're going to talk about faith and persistence, <clears throat> because those two things, they, they really go together, do they not? There's a really strong belief in our culture in our culture that that says uh, if it feels good do it <laughs> if it feels good do it if it feels buy that thing eat eat that thing uh, have that relationship whatever there's a strong belief in our culture that says if it feels good do it that influences every single one of us it does whether you like to say it or not it influences us but when you allow yourself to be manipulated then by your moods you're living your life according to your feelings. When you allow yourself to be manip manipulated by the, your moods, then that's when things start to get in trouble. But, see, God wants us to live a different kind of life. He wants to live a life not controlled by our feelings, but to live a life of faith, not a life of feelings. The truth is, I don't, I don't always feel like doing the right thing. Are you, are you with me in that? <clears throat> I don't always feel like doing the right thing. But God can give us the kind of faith that persists above feelings. 
dogs. Yep, they're uh, they're playing this morning. They're running their laps today. Their moves say it's time to play. Right. So, if if you look around, <clears throat> you're going to see successful people doing things that they don't feel like doing. They get tired of going through the, the same motions, and they want to do things differently. They they, they do things that, that other people aren't willing to do. <laughs> Hopefully you can't hear Owen yelling. <laughs> <He's>, uh, <laughs> oh, it's a circus today. Uh, they do things that other people aren't willing to do. So you can't be like this super stellar Olympic athlete unless you spend all the extra hours training, even though you don't feel like it, right? You can't be a, a, a master musician unless you spend many, many hours working, practicing, training. The same principle applies for a true, mature, godly Christian. The same principle applies. If you want to deepen your faith, you deepen your relationship with Jesus, you have to spend time with them, even when you don't feel like it. Do you know people who really enjoy their time with God? Do you know people that really just, they, they talk about it, you see it all over them, they really enjoy spending time with God? That's because they put in the work. They persisted in spending time with him, even when they didn't feel like it. They read their Bible, even though they didn't feel like it or maybe thought they had time to do it. They spent time doing it. They spent time praying and, 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 and fellowship with other believers. As you see, faith and persistence, they go hand in hand. Faith means you don't give up even when you're tired. Faith means you just you don't quit. When you're living in faith, you persist through all things. Moses is really a, a great example <clears throat> of a life lived in faithful persistence. Mm. Good morning for coffee, right? Moses was, was a great example. Hebrews 11.27, this is our scripture for the day. This is what Hebrews 11.27 says. It was by faith that Moses left Egypt and was not afraid of the king's anger. Moses continued strong as if he could see the God that no one can see. Did you catch that? Moses realized this important truth. You can only accomplish the impossible when you see the invisible. Isn't that right, Owen? Yeah. All right. Go on. Go get your breakfast. Or did you already eat breakfast? I didn't eat it. You didn't eat yet. Okay. You can only accomplish the impossible when you see the the invisible. See, God's going to give you strength to persist. He will. He'll give you the power to keep working on the marriage that seems hopeless. He'll give you the power to pick yourself up when, you're, when you've fallen. He'll give you the power to keep going when you're on the edge of, of bankruptcy or insolvency. <coughs> He'll give you the power to keep your convictions when all the pressure around you says give in. That's what he does. See, the key to faith is to be persistent. We keep our eyes fixed. We keep our eyes focused on God, not on the problems around us. See, God's power is is to uh, God's power to, to keep us going is always there for us. That power is always there for us. We just need to ask Him. Ask and you shall receive. It's so simple, isn't it? We tend to make it really complex, and I I don't, I don't think it's <clears throat> we do that on purpose. I think what we do is we allow the world to creep in, the culture to creep in, uh, and those outside influences to make us think that it's difficult. But it's really not. It's really not. We just keep, keep persisting in Him and allow Him to deepen our faith so that we can walk hand in hand with the Lord wherever we go, whatever we do, whoever we come in contact with. That's it. So, question for you before we're done today. Here's your question. Uh, what obstacles in your life, what things in your life tend to limit your determination and your persistence? What things in your life right now tend to limit your, your determination and your persistence? What are those things? Are, are they physical exhaustion? Is it overcoming fr frustrations? Is it the, the, the culture that you're in? Is it baggage from your past that's weighing you down? What are, what are some of the obstacles that you have in your life right now that limit you, that stop you, that hold you back? 
from developing a deeper determination and a deeper persistence. Once you begin to, to pinpoint those things, once you begin to, to see what those things are, and, and it's okay to I mean, make a list, write them down. I, I use note cards. I write down things on note cards, stick them in the Bible where I'm at, and I've got, I've got a Bible that's full of note cards. Uh, once you develop, or once you kind of pinpoint what those things are, what are some of them then, some new habits, some new traits, some new practices that you could develop to overcome those obstacles, <coughs> right? What are some things you can do? See, there's a, there's a process, and we get into that process. And then, <clears throat> as we allow God to help us develop those new habits, those new practices in life, we begin to see more persistence and a deeper faith. Pretty cool how that works, right? <coughs> That's all I got for you this morning. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. It's a concept of faith and persistence. They go hand in hand. We can't have one without the other. So. All right, guys. <clears throat> That's all I got for you today. A little bit crazy around here. Mm -hmm. So lots of stuff going on. Um, uh, I'll be in the office this morning for a little bit. Staff will be there for a little bit. We're, we're making final plans. Um, if you uh, did not get the email, this Saturday's work day. We've got lots of good stuff going on. It's going to be fantastic weather Saturday to get some stuff done. So come on out. Be a part of what's happening. Um, looking forward to getting the place all spruced up and looking good uh, for, a, for a trunk or treat for all of our visitors, but also for you. We need to take pride in, in, the, in the building and the blessings that God's given us. Uh, and then it's full charge ahead, full steam ahead, right? All right, guys. Love y'all. Appreciate you. Uh, be blessed. Have a fantastic morning. Have a fantastic day and weekend. And we'll look forward to seeing you again uh, Saturday for work day and then, and then on worship Sunday. All right, guys. Love y'all. Appreciate you. Remember, be a, be a blessing. Be a blessing. Find somebody to be a blessing to today because he's always a blessing to us. Right? All right. Take care. We'll see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>